Hello friends, welcome to my channel Painting Hyun. I will make this channel for people to paint easier no matter where they live in the world. Today's topic of this flower looks so beautiful and it has very thin uh, stem. The stem is very thin and appears to be a quiet wig. The bloom compared to the stem is big. How can this stem support this flower, right? I finished the sketch with a 2H pencil. I'm going to start with a light green on the small bud. Usually, I start with the main character, but today, I will start the paint this small bud from left corner and work my way down. I painted on a leaf and buds with very light green. I add a little bit of dark sap green on the buds and leaves. I use the brush, the tip of the brush, only the tip of the brush part. Have you ever used the hot pressed paper? I'm using hot pressed 140 pound paper. The surface is very soft and smooth. This paper does not allow for much spreading of the painting and water, so you can get a crispy and clean color. knows uh, this flower's name I don't know this flower's name so if you know uh, this flower's name let me know actually these flowers uh, from my garden but I didn't know this flower's name I started very light uh, orange on the flowers. And I'm adding little dark and thick color on the flowers. And with our first flower to add definition and detail, use the, use the tip of the brush and brush stroke, move very quick. And I draw uh, lines on the uh, stem flowers.
After that flower, move on to the next one and the next one after that. All using the similar color and techniques. This leaf uh, I used a very light green for the first layer and second layer is adding a little bit dark sap green. With the leaves I have painted with light sap green and adding dark and thick green. This color I mixed ultramarine and sap green. Now I'm adding a little bit of brown on the tip of the leaves. If the leaves are all one color of green, the painting looks very simple. If you add brown details, the painting becomes more advanced. This is the second layer with a uh, crimson lake with a uh, scarlet lake color. This is a stem. I'm adding on the stem with a thick and dark color. I mixed the ultramarine deep and sap green and a little bit of brown. So I got a kind of olive green. Next, we move to the base. This color is a uh, turquoise blue. And turquoise blue makes uh, ultramarine deep. Any type of base or glass in your painting is not easy to master, right? So I'm going to paint with light blue first using thin and almost dry brush. Usually we have a problem with any type of vase or glass. So, it's through uh, practice that you will cultivate the ability to master this. To supplement your learning, I have linked a few videos on including glass description section below for your reference practice.
look at my crochet stroke I used to crochet stroke very gently This is a shadow part. As a final touch, I will paint the shadows. I mix ultramarine and bright violet. Draw shadow under the flower. Then add the color of the flower in the shadow. So I don't want to get a simple painting. So create the own color on the painting. Okay, we are done. Please give it a try. See you next time. Bye.